Um, so it's a week-long program that we've done Monday through Friday. Um, this year we will be adding an evening portion on Sunday just to kind of give a overview of the Civil War so that everyone's on the same page and comes with the same background knowledge. But each site has their own day. So they start at Tudor Place on Monday and we kind of bring um, Tudor Place, the person that lived in the house was named Britannia. So we kind of try and bring that women's history as well as the history of the enslaved um, Africans and then free Africans who they hired um, after the Civil War um, in that perspective. On Tuesday they visit Frederick Douglass house. We actually have a Frederick Douglass interpreter who talks about auditory um, and how people can use auditory to you know further movements. Lincoln Cottage would be on Wednesday to kind of give the early years of um, the Lincoln's presidency and his trips out to the cottage and then we end chronologically with Ford's Theater with the assassination of Lincoln and we leave Friday open so that gives teachers time to process, reflect and actually then start to create a lesson or some sort of activity that they can then bring back into their classroom. Um, and each of the days we stress both content, so trying to provide teachers with enough information on the Civil War for them to feel comfortable teaching it. But our main goal is to teach techniques, so ways you can, um, we model the techniques for teachers on how to bring primary sources into their classroom. And we really encourage teachers, we introduce teachers to the backwards planning um, template um, early in the week, and we, we ask them to use that template in concert with their local standards as the way to develop whether their, their program, whether it's a unit or a field trip or um, whatever else. And because we want to be modeling be what we consider best practices. And it's, it's very interesting. Many teachers are not comfortable with the backwards planning template, um, asking them to think first about um, goals and standards and then about, um, you know, objectives and uh, assessment and, and then moving into activities. But um, they become more comfortable with it over time. And for us, it's OK for them to be struggling with that during the week because it's a big part of learning how to engage productively with, um, with content.